Hey everyone, this is episode 3 of Kassarian's Let's Play. Uh, yeah, I know I said I'd only be recording 1 and 2 at the same time, but I'm kind of in the middle of a build on this, so I'm going to go through to 3. I'm going to get my Macerator. 3 is going to be a shorter episode, because I'm not going to be doing any mining or anything else in it. And then I will give it a rest for a little bit. Uh, this also puts me pretty far out of the own of the schedule I had for myself. Uh, so yeah, uh, right now I'm just cooking up some copper. Uh, I just want to get three pieces of copper so I can get some cable. Now you create copper cable by just putting three copper in a crafting table like that, right? And then you take the copper and you combine one copper cable with one rubber equals one. Yep. Okay. Just making sure you all guys all got that, right? With, sorry, with two rubber. Well, instead you can kind of shortcut it. And you can just do this to get six pre-insulated copper cables. Now, I'm still waiting on that to cook up. So, I'm going to grab some redstone. If I need three, I'm going to need six redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oop, miscount. Give myself a little bit of redstone. And just wait for this to finish cooking. Well, I have four now, so I guess that's enough. Drop that in there. Four tins enough to get started for my first battery. So, you know, let's get started. So, two tin on each side. Copper cable on the top. Two redstone in the middle. RE battery. RE rechargeable. Yes. I put in too few tin because I forgot. I also need to make a generator. One, two, three, four. Four more tin. Chuck it in. Yeah. Chuck it in. And I can make another battery. It strikes me now that I could have done all this off camera and then, you know, just kind of left you guys just to see me do all it all at once. But again, showing all my mistakes. Alright, notice that the RE batteries don't stack. Um, yeah, that's kind of a pain. I agree with you. Uh, so let me start crafting other stuff that I need for this build. I need another furnace. Another furnace right there. I need another machine block. Get that like that. I need to build myself a project table. And I got four more, ran out of fuel. Don't worry guys, my days of having to use fuel will soon be over. Alright, so now I'm going to give myself another rechargeable battery like this. Two more redstone in the middle. And a copper cable on the top. Gives me an RE battery. I put three RE batteries in the middle. Oh, I hope I remember this recipe. I don't have enough wood for this recipe. Yeah. Alright. Put three RE batteries in the middle. Three planks on the bottom. Two in the top two corners. And a copper cable like that. And that gives you a bat box. Right. Now I am waiting on one more piece set of tin to come out of there. Which it now has. And I was going to throw some more sticky resin in. Alright, now that I have that, I can grab uh, two more pieces of redstone. These two pieces like that. I put the tin like that. I mean, you guys have seen this recipe a hundred times by now, so, you know. Put that there, machine block underneath it, and then a furnace, and that gives me a generator. Hip hip! Hooray! All right, so you take this stuff. Now, I'm going to put my bat box here in the corner. Okay, so a quick explanation of the back box, right? You see there's the sign with the dot on it, and then there are the empty sides. The empty sides are the power input. The dot simply tells you which side is the bot, is the output. So I put the generator there, and let's say I throw a piece of coal in. Bat box fills up. Now, I just realized I'm going to need more tin cake, more copper cable. 
because I wasn't... I had forgotten that the bat box took some copper cable to make. Drop that in there. And I'm going to need... Let's just throw a piece of wood in there. Okay, so now that I have the generator there... Hey look, some more bones. I guess this is also a good, a good time to drop this stuff down too, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to go back inside now. I'm going to put three copper ore, grab it on the piece of coal. As I said, guys, you're going to stop seeing me worry about coal soon. And then I'm going to get another four pieces of iron out. One, two, three, four. If you notice, I already have four iron in here. Okay. So, as soon as that tin fin that copper finishes, I will throw my copper ore into the furnace, my iron ore, excuse me, and I'll start on the next part of the build. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, good. So I have the copper. You guys already saw the recipe for that. Just three in the middle, and then three on the top and bottom. Gives you your nice insulated copper cable. Now, why did I craft that? Well, because I am forgetting things all over the place today. Like, I don't... Sometimes I think if I didn't have my head screwed on, I'd leave it behind me somewhere. Alright, so we're about to finish smelting this stuff. And then as soon as we do, it's going to all go right back in. Now, if you notice, I added another piece of iron. Why is that? Well, if you look at the recipe for the macerator, you'll notice the macerator is three flint on the top, two cobble on either side of the center, a machine block in the middle, and then on the bottom center is a circuit, an electronic circuit. Now, if you click on that, it's copper cable on the top and bottom, two redstone in the middle on the sides, and one piece of refined iron. And I was about to make too few refined iron. Yep. Just gonna throw some more wood in there just to make sure it burns correctly. Again, I like to try and conserve my uh, reserves of coal because it's infinitely useful later on. Once we get into advanced machines, um, you'll be using a lot of it, like a lot, a lot, a lot of it, to make some of the late game armor, late game items, late game machines, etc., etc. I mean, you end up just using tons and tons and tons of it. So. I will be back shortly, as soon as I get everything cooked up, and I am all set for the next part. Alright. Alright folks, I'm back. Just cooking up some more stuff here, and alright. So, machine block. First thing we need. We now have a machine block. Next thing we need. We need some more redstone. Yes, redstone. We think the world runs on this stuff, right? All right, redstone. That should be good. Now the next thing we need is we're actually gonna have to cook up some more copper. Um, yeah, I know, embarrassing, right? Because I keep forgetting that basically everything in industrial craft uses insulated cable. Um, I don't think I've encountered. Yeah, either it uses insulated cable or it uses something that uses insulated cable. That's pretty much the way it always works. Okay, so while that's cooking up, uh, I'm going to drop the refined iron in the middle. I'm going to put this along the top. And two redstone in here. And pull out an electronic circuit. Now, then I'm going to turn over here. Uh, I'm going to pull out my three of my flint. Put the flint across the top. Put cobble on either side of that a machine block underneath it, and an electronic circuit under that, and I get a macerator. Now, the macerator, as we said earlier, is a very useful item. In essence, once I have it hooked up and connected, which is why I'm smelting up some more copper over here, it will in essence double my ore output. 
Uh, and there I go, forgetting that I do not yet have a Philosopher's Stone. Though, with all the diamonds I have, I could actually fix that quite quickly. Alright, throw that there. Get one... Now I have two pieces of cable. Alright. And, of course, I need one more. You don't want to use the uninsulated cable. It will zap you. Um, and it actually hurts. A fair amount. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my copper cable. Put it next to the macerator. Now, here's the macerator. If you notice, this is the um, UI, right? The user interface is pretty simple. Stuff you want macerated goes to the top. If you have a battery, it goes to the bottom. Stuff that's been macerated comes out the side. These four things over here are places for upgrades. Uh, I'll pull them up pretty fast in NEI. We probably won't get to those, actually, because... I prefer to use uh, the advanced machine components that have a very different mechanic. Uh, presently, there are only three upgrades. There's the overclocker, the transformer, and the energy storage. Overclocker increases speed at the cost of power. Transformer increases the voltage that can go in. More on that once I start running into that as an issue. And the energy storage increases how much this little lightning bolt can store in the internal capacitor. All right, so. Macerator sitting there. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to do what I should have been doing for a very long time, which is macerating things into dusts. Now, while I'm working on that, I'm also going to dig out a little bit of a trench down here. This is the point where everyone tells me that I could have saved myself the trouble and just not fixed that creeper explosion. Yes, that is, that is very, very true. I was not thinking ahead. I am doing twice the work. Okay, so, uh, yes, that's going to be an issue. I was afraid of this. I'm going to need to find some more sticky resin. So, um, I'm going to put all this stuff in chests. Um, before I do that, I'm actually going to... Oh, I can't because that's there, and... Okay, so I'm just going to craft myself another furnace because I don't feel like waiting. And again, forgetting that I do not have a Philosopher's Stone. Alright. So I get, uh, if I get a furnace and then I put iron around it in a pattern like this, I get an iron furnace. Now the iron furnace is actually a really useful item for some people. I actually don't find it useful at all. The iron furnace is... Uh, an increased smelt rate. So, yep, it's nighttime. I am not going out to look for uh, sap during the night. The iron furnace takes each piece of coal will smelt 10 items rather than 8. So, it increases your output, but that's not the really, really reason the, the real reason I'm crafting it. If you noticed, I'm actually hitting the opposite problem. I'm not cooking up enough materials with each go. Let's try going this way this time. I see another swamp over here. Yep, and there I go, running everywhere. Yep. Oh, skeletons in the water. This may be an issue, actually. Yeah, this is going to be an issue. You know what? I'm going to run away now. As soon as they get out of the water, they should light themselves on fire. Yep, there goes one. That's going to be an issue. I think I got some sort of atomic artifact, though. Yeah, an inhuman skull. Cool. Uh, do I have any more food? I have some bread. That's it. Okay. Uh. Oh, good. So my wheat's done. I was actually thinking this would be the perfect time for some of my uh, wheat to finish up. And it did. A miracle of miracles. And one extra seed on that one. Well, that's okay. But that does mean that I can get a piece of bread and get my hit points back up. 
Yeah, that little starter garden is always a good thing to have because you're never guaranteed of being able to actually find chickens or anything else around. Okay. I see sheep. I see a skeleton in the water. Yeah, I'm right here. I think their AI is now actually smart enough to hide in the water. Oh, this is cool. Okay, that that's cool. Uh, this is taint, by the way. Turns out I have started next to a taint chunk. A rapidly spreading taint chunk, actually. Uh, this may be an issue later on. Anyways. This tainted chunk, as you can see here, is when the bad side of East gets out of control. And you get taint. And this taint manifests itself like this. Um, this taint is bad. It is horrible. If that sheep spends too much time in the taint, it'll become a tainted sheep. And you do not want tainted sheep. They are actually vicious and very deadly. No, I'm not kidding you. Um, you... Pretty much anything can become tainted. Uh, tainted creepers are especially scary, as if creepers could be any... as if creepers needed to be scarier. Um... Chickens! That's a good thing. I need the chickens. I need their delicious, delicious meat. Alright. Um, also, if you note, if you break things in the taint zones, you sometimes get tainted artifacts. So, taint zones can be beneficial, and they can be very not beneficial at the same time. Alright. Climbing, 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 climbing. And there are ways to deal with that, and because the opportunity has presented itself, I will probably, um at some point in the future, end up showing you guys how to deal with taint. Which I know thrills you all. Alright, so I'm going to go off and I'm going to find some more rubber, and I will catch you guys once I finish that. Alright everyone, this is Kassarian, I'm back. Uh, I got a couple things of mass riding away. I uh, got my bat box dutifully providing power and there's one more thing for me to make and that is the electric furnace you remember what I said I wasn't going to be using that iron furnace I crafted earlier I put it in the middle put an electric circuit on top and two redstone on either side and I get the electric furnace achievement even hotter topic oh Mojang bad pun bad pun alright so we put that down there we have an electric furnace. It's a furnace that runs on electricity. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to get some sort of passive power generation going. Because as of right now, I don't have any passive power. If I need energy, I have to put coal in my generator, and I'm using coal, and you all know how much I don't like using coal. But to do that, I need a special furnace. And that should give you all some clue as to what I'm doing. As I pull the clay out of my bags. I need to craft this item. I need an alloy furnace crafted like so. Now the alloy furnace is a red power item and its upgrade is the blue electric alloy furnace. If you guessed that it was an alloy furnace that ran off red power electricity, you'd be correct. So, first I'm going to need to make some bricks. And for that, why don't I use my brand new electric furnace to make some bricks out of clay? Actually, I can probably get rid of this furnace now, to come to think about. If you're wondering what I'll use it for, well, you'll find out. Probably next episode, though. That's going to be my guess. Macerator is still macerating away, my furnace is still furnacing away, my generators run out of coal, and my bat box will be running out of energy soon. So I'm going to take some more coal. This is the point I really wish I had decided to get Railcraft working, because then I can just be making coal coke and throwing that in. By the way, shift clicking will throw the coal into the top side of the generator, just be warned. Alright, that's running away right there, that should take a little while. 8 times 8 is 64, so I'll need to add some more to that. I should have just thrown a full stack of clay in, but I didn't think. Alright, 
So I will keep doing that. What else can I do in the meantime? Meantime, meantime, what else can I do here? Let me just get that sorted for a second. I'm going to need to macerate a lot of stuff, so... Should I? I'll wait on that. For right now, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go plant my rubber tree saplings, because that's the thing to do. And it's something I should really do. And I'll put it out one more, because that one didn't seem to want to plant one, did it? By the way, my, uh, for all of you to know, my tree tap actually broke. They have very, very, very low number of uses before they break, so just be forewarned about that. Um, I actually know that some players will take like two or three of them out with them on each trip, and I'm actually running critically low on wood. Huh, that doesn't happen often. Okay, so probably what's going to happen is I'm going to get some passive power generation. Uh, either this episode or next. I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking it's going to be next episode. Which I swear I'm going to stop recording for today and I will actually do my next episode tomorrow. Uh, I've recorded three episodes today. I was planning on only recording two. Alright, so I am making more bricks. I am macerating down iron. I am getting a little low on power again. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I completely forgot to empty out my miner's backpack. A uh, quick tip, shift clicking, shift right clicking on a chest with the backpacks will empty them of their items. Uh, I found a cave a little while ago, so I decided just to empty out. Uh, that steadfast drone is going to bother me. Alrighty then, so now apparently I'm just waiting on this. Well, that's okay. I could do half of them. And I keep trying to hit the C key to bring up my, uh... Equivalent exchange stuff. And there I go, trying to... Yep. So I do have enough brick. For some reason, I thought it was eight individual bricks in a circle. But that's actually the recipe for the Alloy Furnace. Mixed Metal Surprise. Oh boy. I dropped that there. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is... Wait. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to create some pneumatic tubes. Um, the problem is that... I need to use dusts for that. Well, I don't need to, but dusts are the most efficient way of doing it. And I'm going to have to wait until my macerator cooks everything up. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, however, is I am going to throw a bunch of that in there, a bunch of iron. I'm going to throw another few coal up into... How did I pick the bee up? And that should get that started up again. Yeah, I really need that passive power generation. I need it soon. And I'm probably going to put it right over here-ish. So let me start getting ready for that, actually. So right about here, I'm going to need one, two, three. Okay, that's there. Right. I'm going to have an empty space. <clears throat> no, that's not the way I wanted to do it. Alright, I want to have it up out of the ground. Do I? No, that's fine. Alright, and then I want... 
You can take a wild guess and say that some of the more experienced amongst you will know exactly what I'm doing. And some of the more particular amongst you are probably going to be screaming at me for doing it this way. Okay, that's good as it is. I'll pick that up. Now. I need... <coughs> One more piece of iron, actually. So, what I'm doing... I could throw that in there to make it refined iron. And I'm going to need some... I have the planks, I have that, and I'm going to need some redstone. Oddly enough, this is actually a vanilla item that I'm crafting right now. And it's not covalence dust, actually. It's a piston. Now, I need to look up the recipe for this item. I believe I remember. I don't have enough wood to do it. Hmm. Go figure. Um, I'm in a Let's Play, and I'm working with mods, and what do I not have? Wood. I ran out of wood. I th think... Okay, so I'm going to go chop down some wood, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back with some more wood, thank goodness. Alright, so I believe what I need to do is I need to do one of these. Is it a chest? Piston? Redstone? I'm kind of guessing it might be... No, it isn't. Okay. I was I was thinking I might remember what the recipe was off the top of my head, but it turns out I didn't. Uh, so I'll have to look it up. All right, recipe. Oh, okay. That was close, actually. I'm surprised. Yep, I am building a deployer. Steve in a box. Yeah, well, it basically is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the deployer here. I'm going to get out of this block, and I'm going to place it like that. That is exactly what I wanted. And I'm going to dig that out. Voila. Now, I'm going to have some trouble here. Which is that I have run out of energy in my bat box. Bat box. No, I haven't. Oh, did I run out of things to macerate? Yeah, electric furnace is done. Macerator is done. Good, 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 good. Drop the copper in there. Um, the problem I now run into is that I actually have... Yep. Um, I'm missing an item or two. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to go out and try and find that item. Well, I'm going to have to go out and find that item. But I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. And I'm trying to decide whether to do it on or off camera. So give me a half second to check how long we've gone. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. We're about at the 30-minute 30 30 minute point. So I'm actually going to wrap up for today. In between this episode and next, I'm going to go out and find that item I need. Um, if you know what I'm building, you know what I need, and you know it's going to be kind of challenging with my current equipment. So I will see you all later. Have a good one.